a hospital in northern Israel that was in itself under attack, having to lead the treatment and therapy for all the casualties of the civilian population around us, and at the same time, the casualties of the army that were actually brought to us from the fierce battles in Lebanon. This was not something we took into account. The fact that the hospital itself could be vulnerable, that we were saving lives on the one hand, but at the same time were vulnerable to loss of life because of deadly missile attacks. Every time we had an alarm and there was a missile phone in Haifa, there was this time of about 30 seconds to call your family, know that everybody is okay before you rush to fulfill the next function. That means rush, run to the emergency room, see the patients uh, are getting the right treatment. 45 missiles at least fell around Rambam from every side. Thankfully, none actually hit. Some would say remarkably, others would say miraculously, but we know that we cannot depend on miracles all the time and we have to prepare ourselves to make sure that there are areas of the hospital to which patients can be moved and staff can function under fortified conditions for the threats of the future. Today, after six years of hard work, we have almost finished this project, which will enable us to care for sick and wounded citizens and soldiers, even while under rocket attack, for both conventional and non-conventional warheads. To my regret, the threat of war has not disappeared. It has only grown stronger. And today we know for certain that in the next war, we will be required to provide acute and chronic hospital care under fire. In order to complete this huge project in time, we need help from our friends in Israel and around the world. We need your support now.